right, so let's create a new material, mm01. So call it coffee beans, say 11. Okay, and this is of course raw material. Retail and raw material, enter. And we wanna have a basic view of course. And we are gonna procure them, these are raw materials. So select purchasing and select these two views mrp1 mrp2 and of course have an accounting view click ok the plant is chicago storage location is coffee hit enter all right we call it coffee beans whatever let's call it C B P manual reorder just so that we can identify that material and the base unit is pound and the material group 015 doesn't matter purchasing group 001 And in MRP1, we set the MRP type to VB. And this is what tells SAP that this material, coffee beans 11, is going to be planned using manual reorder point based planning. If you go to the possible list of options, If you go far down below, you'll see the MRP type, Manual Reorder Point Planning, VB. This is what dictates, like I said, that this material is going to be planned based on reorder point and that is going to be manually determined. Okay. Now, when you say manual reorder point, you got to put a number. What is the number that we said? 500. 500 is the minimum below which if the stock falls down, I'm going to reorder again. Right? So hit enter. And MRP controller could be anybody. All right. Now we go to the lot size. What is a lot size? A lot size is the size in which we procure or produce goods. For now, just put EX, lot for lot. Don't worry, we'll talk about lots later. In MRP2, we are going to be setting the procurement to F because it's a raw material, it's automatically going to default to F. And we have to set the planned delivery time, right? We said it's three days. So we need three days for the vendor to deliver the goods. That's good. And then we're going to go to the accounting view, set this to 3000 as usual, and call it moving average because it's a raw material. Because we are procuring them, we are going to set it to moving average. We are done with this material, save it. Now go to MMBE, select your coffee beans, the one that we have just created, coffee beans 11, and see if there is any stock. There is no stock. So I can go place an order for 500. So you don't have to explicitly place an order. We said, remember what we said? This is a reorder point, and if the stock falls below the reorder point, we want to place an order, right? Now, if the process is as simple as saying, if the stock falls below a certain point, place an order, that's very specific, right? It's, it's really clear. So you don't have to go place an order. You can place an order, go create a purchase order, but you don't have to. There is a process in SAP called MRP run. 
Now this can be done either in the foreground, like going to MD03. Put your material, put your plant and hit enter. Or you can take this program and schedule it to run every day like a robot. It runs every day, looks at the reorder point, triggers it and triggers what needs to be done. Now let's say let's just run this manually for now. Okay, hit enter. Enter again. So you see MRP carried out for coffee beans. Right? Now after this MRP run is done, go to MD04, the requirement list, and see if a new requirement is generated for this material. So go to MD04, enter your coffee beans material plant hit enter again and this is something that's generated today and we require 500 pounds of coffee this is a purchase requisition because we have a stock of zero SAP says go ahead procure 500 pounds of coffee Today is the 2nd of November and the date here says 11.07. Why? Because we have added a planned delivery time of 3 days and there could be holidays. So 11.02, let's say, today is the November 2nd and we said 3 days, right? So, 3rd, 4th, and 5th and 6th are holidays, right? 5th is a Saturday, 6th is a holiday. So, 7th is the 3rd day. So, if we order today, we'll get the goods on the 7th because there is a delivery time of 3 days. So, 3, 4, and 7 are the working days that consume those 3 days of that are required for the vendor to deliver the goods. And Saturday, Sunday are excluded because they are holidays. So, this element over here that was created automatically using the MRP run says that on 11.7, I require 500 pounds of coffee and here is my suggestion. Because it's a robot, MRP run is basically a robot. Because it's a robot, you don't want it to generate purchase orders, send it to the vendor. It can only give you suggestions. You don't want AI to take over, right? It will give you a suggestion. So, in case of procurement, the suggestion is a purchase requisition. If it is production like a muffin that we produce in our warehouse or plant or bakery, it will be a planned order. We will get to that. So, because it is procurement, it has generated a purchase requisition. Now, for the vendor to supply the goods, a purchase requisition is not enough, right? Remember, purchase requisition is an internal document. So, you need this purchase requisition to be converted to a purchase order sent out to the vendor. So, how do you do that? Select that and that element opens up in a pop-up and click on this button. Convert purchase acquisition to purchase order. Now, this is a step that's done manually. So the bot MRP run has generated suggestions for you. Now this is where the planner comes. And the planner comes in, looks at all the suggestions for that material and specifically converts them manually to a purchase order. So that is the level of human intervention that is required. Now, in order for this to happen automatically, some setup needs to be done. Right? So everything like the purchase group, purchase organization, company code, all of these things need to be set up properly. If all of them are set up, a purchase requisition will be converted to a purchase order. 
But that's besides the story. The point being, as soon as your planning is done, your MRP run is done, MRP run generates suggestions. And these suggestions need to be acted upon by the planner. And in case they are acted upon, like so, set a price and you see it's an order for 500 pounds of coffee beans 11 check if everything is okay everything is okay save it all right so the purchase equation has been converted to a purchase order manually so go ahead and refresh it and MD04 knows that now there is a purchase order for 500 pounds of coffee and it's going to be delivered on November the 7th. The, remember this date is the target date, the date when we need the goods by. So this is our purchase order. And the planning part is done. Planner goes home. Now the vendor receives the PO. He prepares the coffee beans and say on the third day or whenever he sends the goods. Now somebody in our warehouse will take the goods in like a goods receipt against a purchase order. Enter the purchase order number for 500 pounds of coffee beans 11 and it's going to be received into the coffee bean storage location. Set to item as OK and click save. Document is posted. Now, if you go to MMBE, you should have 500 pounds of coffee. There you go. Now, if the planner runs MRP again, like go to MD03, enter that coffee beans material, click OK. Click OK. MRP run carried out. Go to MD04 requirements list. Select your material and plant. Click OK. There is stock of 500. So it's not going to generate additional purchase requisitions because there is stock. So we are cool. We got everything we need. So in order for the system or MRP to trigger another purchase order, stock has to fall below 500. Remember we said, this is our reorder point, 500. Now to start with, there was no stock. It was a newly created material. We didn't have stock. So we ran MRP, MD03, went to MD04 and found out that a purchase requisition was created. 